time for us to talk about what is opening this week, brought to you by our friends at AMC Theaters. Now, normally we talk about half the films that are opening on Tuesday, and then we talk about the other half on Thursday. But since we're not going to be having a movie talk on Thursday because of the American holiday, we're going to talk about all the major films opening and wide release this week today. So, Ashley, what do we got opening up? First up is the Rocky legacy film Creed. Adonis Johnson, Michael B. Jordan, never knew his famous father, boxing champion Apollo Creed, who died before Adonis was born. However, boxing is in his blood, so he seeks out Rocky Balboa, Sylvester Stallone, and asks the retired champ to be his trainer. Rocky sees much of Apollo in Adonis and agrees to mentor him, even as he battles an opponent deadlier than any in the ring. With Rocky's help, Adonis soon gets a title shot, but whether he has the true heart of a fighter remains to be seen. Next up is Pixar's The Good Dinosaur. Luckily for young Arlo, his parents and his two siblings, the mighty dinosaurs, were not wiped out 65 million years ago. When a rainstorm washes poor Arlo downriver, he ends up bruised, battered, and miles away from home. Good fortune shines on the frightened dino when he meets Spot, a Neanderthal boy who offers help and friendship. Together, the unlikely duo embark on an epic adventure to reunite Arlo with his beloved family. And finally, Victor Frankenstein. When the experiments of radical scientist Victor Frankenstein, played by James McAvoy, go too far, only Igor Straussman, played by Daniel Radcliffe, his equally brilliant protege, can bring him back from the brink of madness and save him from his monstrous creation. Mark, which of these films should audiences be looking forward to? Well, I'm pleased to say you should actually be looking forward to all three of these movies coming out. They're very different genres, and I had the chance to see Victor Frankenstein last night, and I had a lot of fun with it. I actually enjoyed watching the movie. The Good Dinosaur is Pixar. They crush just about everything they do. I know there's going to be one scene that makes me ball like a baby, and everything else I'll be laughing and enjoying the adventure, but the one you got to see is Creed. And as a huge Rocky fan myself, even if you're not big into boxing films or you haven't seen a Rocky movie, this movie is so worth checking out for the performances of Michael B. Jordan and Sylvester Stallone, who could get nominated for Best Supporting Actor. Imagine if you see Rocky win a statue for the 2015 Academy Awards, and the way Ryan Coogler directs yeah. Creed is unlike anything I've ever seen in a boxing movie or otherwise. You have great choices at the movie theaters this weekend. Get away from your annoying family and go to a movie theater. <laughs> Schnipp, which ones are you looking forward wow. to the most? I gotta say, I'm looking forward to all three of them myself. I haven't seen any of them, but like just seeing the trailer for Creed, seeing uh, Sylvester Stallone take over the Burgess Meredith part. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really exciting, and that you a guys have all seen it. Buff Burgess, yeah, way more rich <laughs> Burgess <laughs> Meredith for sure. Uh, but I, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to see it. Uh, good dinosaur. I love dinosaurs. So this movie already that and Pixar together. I'm ready to see that. And of course, I love Frankenstein. Another Max Landis uh, production. Victor Frankenstein right, right. in the house. I'm looking forward to all three of them, and I I can't wait. It's a great weekend. I'll go on Friday. So yeah, I I'm so excited to hear you say that you liked Victor Frankenstein, because mm -hmm. we've been enjoying the trailers, and you were yeah. a little bit negative on the trailers. So. I did not like the trailer at all, but it's just one of those movies where you it, it, it takes more, longer than a trailer to get into the tone of what Mac and Boy and Radcliffe are doing. Right, and Good Dinosaur, it will not go down as one of the top five great you know, Pixar films, but I, I feel as close to being able to guarantee anything, I can guarantee you're gonna have a good time watching The Good Dinosaur. It, you'll just smile and feel good the whole movie. It's just a very well done on that level, you know what I mean? So you're gonna enjoy it. And I cannot wait to see Creed. Because of responsibilities, I haven't been able to go to any of the screenings yet, <laughs> but I cannot wait to see Creed. I'm so excited about it. You know, I remember I was in uh, New York a few weeks ago. Harloff was in Philadelphia watching <laughs> Creed, and I'm in New York, and my phone rings, you gotta see Creed. <laughs> it's, it's just, uh, you gotta see Creed. So it's like ever since then, I've been super stoked about it. So that's the one for me. You know what I'm wondering is, so you have these three movies coming out that all have big audiences potentially what's going to happen to hunger games is box office take because it underperformed a little bit opening weekend and now mm. with all these options at the theaters i hope creed does well i think the good dinosaur is going to annihilate <sighs> maybe victor frankenstein sneaks up there it's going to be a real competitive I think good weekend. dinosaur is going to push peanuts out i think creed and frankenstein are going to push specter out mm -hmm. i mean it's like it's literally that is hunger games going to be number one is my question so. yeah i i'm going to go out I'm, i don't think um I don't think Hunger Games can fall out of the number one spot with what's coming. I mean, Good Dinosaur, maybe. Good yeah. Dinosaur could maybe push I it out. I think you're looking at 60s for Good Dinosaur, maybe, and maybe Hunger Games can be less than a 50% drop-off. Mm. I don't know. It's, it's going to be tight. It's going to be tight. Hey, guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.